Thank you for your interest in V2 Cloud. In this video, I'll walk you through the process of creating and managing virtual machines, adding users, and the basic initial setup. The first step is to create your account. Go to v2cloud.com and click on the Try It Now button. This will establish your account and give you access to the dashboard. Your dashboard is your management console and view into the virtual machines under your account. From the dashboard, you'll be able to manage your account, including creating virtual machines, manage desktop users and permissions, access the admin desktop, set up remote applications, configure single sign-on capabilities, and enable multi-factor authentication. The first step is to create a cloud computer. To do this, click on the plus sign. Choose the region that is closest to you or the one that shows the best connection. The best data center based on your location will display with four green bars. Now you will select a plan. We have some different options here. The business plan includes automated backups and disaster recovery, premium antivirus for malware bytes, single sign-on, Active Directory integration. Basic plan has the same level of hardware, however it does not include backup, malware bytes, or single sign-on or Active Directory integration. Next, you will choose the option of Team Cloud or Individual Cloud. Team Cloud is great for teams in a close geographic region that use the same applications. Individual Cloud is a single machine for a single user. Many individual cloud computers can be placed on the same network for file sharing purposes. You will need a Microsoft 365 subscription E3 or E5 for this option to work. Now you will choose a hardware plan. We have some recommendations based on the number of users that will access the virtual machine. However, if you're still not sure what you need, please contact the sales team at V2 Cloud. Please note that these recommendations are for light to average usage. If you're doing more intensive work like development or working with graphics, then you may require more resources. From here, I'm going to select the startup plan. Next, I'm going to choose Windows 10 multi-user based on server 19. Now I'm going to choose a private IP address, and here we'll see a recap of what we are getting. We will give the computer a name, agree to the terms and conditions, and click Confirm. Here you will see the new computer that I created in the dashboard. The process to build the virtual machine will take approximately 20 to 30 minutes. You will see a status of building, and once that process is complete, the status will change to running. You will receive an email once the build process is done. Here you will see the build process is complete. My virtual machine is running and I can now add users and applications. To get started, click on the Actions tab and then select Manage Computer. We'll first add a user, so click on the Users tab. Then click on the Add User Access button. Enter the user's email, full name, password, then confirm the password. You can also make this user an administrator. This will not provide access to the dashboard. It will only allow them to install applications on their cloud computer. For the highest level of security, V2 Cloud recommends enforcing two-factor authentication. This is easily enabled by checking the box here. This works with SMS text message, email, or mobile application like Google Authenticator. Now click Submit, and that will add the user to the dashboard. To install applications for your users, you will need to connect to the administrator desktop. Next to the administrator account, click Connect. Here is where you will install any applications that your users will need to do their work. You do this just like you normally would on any desktop or server. If you have large files to transfer, please contact our support department and they can assist you. Once you've added your users and your applications, you can now give users access to their virtual machines. We provide two ways for users to connect. The first way is directly through the web browser. The second way is through a small downloadable application that's available for Windows, Mac, Linux, Raspberry Pi, Android, and iOS. To connect through the browser, the user will enter their credentials into the sign-on page. Once logged in, 
they will be able to access the applications and anything else that the administrator has installed for them. V2Cloud has some nice user management features built in. From the dashboard, you can quickly see the logged in users in green while the others are in red. From here, you can edit the user, make them an administrator, change their password, and enforce two-factor authentication. If a user needs assistance, you can also connect to the user's desktop right from the dashboard. Just click on the Share View button. You can go into the View Only mode or with Control, and this will allow me to interact with the user's desktop while they're still working. V2Cloud allows you to easily publish remote applications. With remote applications, you can provide access to any single application or multiple applications without providing full desktop access. When the user logs in, they'll be brought directly into that application. They can still save their files, they can print, and access documents. However, they will not be able to access any other desktop applications or web browsers. To set up a remote application, move over to the Apps tab. Now click on Add New Remote Application. Type the name of the application and input the path of the executable. This will add the application to your list of remote applications. Your application is now published. Now you'll be able to select it under the Edit Users tab or when creating new users. To show you what this looks like, I'm going to edit a user to provide remote app access only. Click on Edit User, select the app that you just created, then remove full desktop access by clicking on the X. Now, when this user logs in, they will only have access to the apps that you have provided to them. Here I'll choose Excel. As you can see, I'm only able to work within this application. From here, I can also switch to other applications that I have access to. V2Cloud has no contracts or commitments to worry about. You can easily move up or down between the plans as your business needs change. To upgrade or downgrade your computer hardware, click on the Plan tab. Next, click on Change Computer Hardware and choose the hardware plan that best suits your needs. Now click Change Computer Hardware. All your applications will stay intact, the system will reboot, and when the users log back in, they'll be on the new hardware plan. Upgrading or downgrading your hardware can also be accomplished by contacting our support team. Technical support is free with all plans and we provide easy access to our team right from inside the dashboard. Click on the chat bubble in the lower right hand corner of your screen. This connects you to a live support technician to assist you with technical questions or make changes to your computer hardware. Changes can be made after normal business hours so that employees are not interrupted. If you require more storage space, you can easily upgrade right from the dashboard. Click on the storage tab. Here you'll see your primary disk size. Mine is currently set at 50 gigabytes. To increase it, click on Actions, then select Resize Disk. Simply move the slider to the amount of disk space that you require and then click Submit. The system will reboot and when it's complete you will have access to the additional storage space. If you'd like to add a separate disk to your system, simply click the Add New Disk. Choose the desired size that you like. Click Submit and this will add an additional disk to your system. All V2Cloud business plans include backup and disaster recovery. We take a full backup of your virtual machine each night at midnight and keep a seven day history. To access your backups, click on the Snapshots tab. Here you'll see your backups for the last seven days. If a disaster happens and you need to bring the virtual machine back to a previous day, click the Actions tab, then select Revert to Snapshot. That will bring the virtual machine back to the state it was on that date. V2Cloud provides another option here as well. If a file is accidentally deleted, rather than reverting to the previous day, you can attach a backup as a second disk. This will allow you to go in, get the file or folder that you need, and as long as that disk is deleted before your next billing cycle, you won't be charged for the storage space. Thank you for your time today. This concludes the demo of the basic features and setup of your virtual machine. Other basic and advanced tutorials are available on our website at v2cloud.com under the Resources tab. If you need more information or would like a live demo, please contact us via phone, email, or chat at v2cloud.com. Thank you.